Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on August 19th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to another video from Morning Dew. Looking here at space weather, earthquakes, disaster alerts from around the world. Starting out here looking at pretty active and leaving sunspot. Not much activity still to talk about. Lower fiery region did not even form a sunspot. Looking here at equatorial coronal hole, which is slowly diminishing, but hanging around in and out of frequency. Looking here at the big picture, you can see some activity on the outgoing southeastern limb of the sun. Right here kind of looks like a sunspot flared up and possibly shot out a C-class flare on the back side of the sun. Looking here at the real-time solar wind, as we are calm at just under, just over 300 kilometers per second, but over the past three days, since we had that small spike in the space frequencies, we did have a solar wind spike up to 430 kilometers per second, but then this small anomaly here which increased the wind speed, the density, and the temperature all at the same time. That is in the past 24 hours. So we had our in we have an incoming coronal hole wind speed, which we are expecting that stream to increase soon. Looking here at the ISWAP Space Prediction Center, showing a glancing southern. Uh, a glancing southern push of space weather not necessarily a direct hit looking here at the Schumann residence as we had a spike there yesterday but we are relatively calm with a power of 665 looking here to earthquakes the last 24 hours very busy this is all that they could put on the map in northwestern pacific that's right, we're looking at earthquakes throughout Idaho, California, and as well, Vancouver Island, 4.2 here, Vancouver Island, at a four kilometer depth. 4.2 ringing off here in Willis, California, and lots of earthquakes along the coast of California today and up into Idaho quite concerning especially with the fires that are going off in the region and we'll get into that in just a moment just this morning we had the 4.8 very busy indeed throughout Alaska as well a 5.1 here Sandpoint Alaska that put out a small tsunami watch as well these earthquakes are ringing off as far north as White Mountain and up into Arctic Village, Alaska. So a lot of cascade movement and not much on the Western Pacific Ring of Fire right now. 4.5 here in Taiwan. Now these are all just reported today. 4.9 here in Indonesia, 4.7 as well. 4.6 there close to Sinabung and Krakatoa. 4.7 there in Greece. And you can see South America, one earthquake here, 4.3. Argentina, 4.7. And Pacific Antarctic Ridge. And then this deep, 500 kilometer depth, 4.3 earthquake. Fiji Islands, watch for a larger, shallower earthquake to follow. Stay aware and prepared, my friends and family. It seems that the Cascades are about to buckle looking at all of these earthquakes on either side, north and south of the subduction zone. Let's look at the last seven days for earthquakes. You can see that lonely 4.2 earthquake in Vancouver Island today is the only movement in the area. A lot of deep quakes on either side and a very quiet Cascadia fault line. So stay aware and prepared, my friends and family. We could be on the verge of a large earthquake. Looking at the deep earthquakes throughout Fiji, 
deep earthquakes in the Philippines and Indonesia, over into southwestern Indonesia. 6.8 and a 6.9 reported today in Bengkulu, Indonesia. As well, we had the 6.7 in the Philippines yesterday. So very busy 48 hours, but especially the last 24 hours. And this is our seven day map. So stay aware prepared, just have a plan and be ready. Looking here at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing all of the fires here, many, many fires being reported all across Western North America, the whole coastline, California, and up into Oregon. It's interesting because you've got all these earthquakes that are happening here. And this is the Long Valley Volcanic Field. Could these actually be fissures opening up on the west coast of California? Or was there a drastic lightning strike or lightning storm that swept in that swept across the coast in one night, one night pretty much? Because overlooking NASA worldview, the only fire that was burning was the one in Washington, and that thing's been burning since August 1st. But then when we move south towards California, there's nothing from the 16th. A small poof on the 17th, then 18 and 19. And just look at the 19th now. The whole West Coast is covered in wildfire smoke. Go figure. I do believe that there is a big correlation between these forest fires and the volcanic field. Long Valley Volcanic Field. Stay aware and prepared. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody in the California area dealing with all these fires. Now we're going to go to volcanoes and give you all the latest eruptions from around the world. Sabancaya in Peru, as well as Ducano in Indonesia, Reventador in Ecuador, Sangay in Ecuador, Popo in Mexico, Nishinashima in Japan, Suicinajibia in Japan, and as well Sinabung, Sinabung, Indonesia. So that's about 12 volcanoes being updated all in the past six hours, it's been a very active day for earthquakes, volcanoes, fires from around the world. So stay aware, prepared. Thoughts and prayers to everybody being affected by these events and as well the disasters unfolding across our planet. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by MediaWorth, Meteo Mike, overlooking a very hot North America. But that is about to change quickly. We have a large low pressure system just sitting off the coastline of Alaska and BC. It's gonna to start to cool things off. Five day forecast starting here, Calgary, Alberta. Large low pressure system here affecting Vancouver and BC. And then over the next couple of days, watch for thunderstorms to move into the prairies and as well the Northern territories As things start to cool off throughout the week, a low of 11 degrees for Calgary in the five day forecast. But a lot of moisture here. Atmospheric river of moisture penetrating the coastline here, Vancouver, and straight up the northern BC coastline. Southeastern US still watching daily evaporation rains and as well tropical systems trying to form. Still not named tropical storm, but there will be one moving into the Gulf in the five day forecast. Looking here at Genevieve is a category two storm now and just going to graze the Baja San Francisco coast, California. And then there are two areas of interest in the Atlantic that we're going to be watching. Here is the first one that will be heading into the Gulf of Mexico later in the week. And then another one here forming off the coast of Africa. And then, yeah, pretty much there will be another one forming, looking at some really extreme heat across Africa. 
temperatures reaching up in the 46 degrees Celsius. Overlooking South America, not too much to talk about, except daily evaporation rains, seasonable temperatures, except for Argentina and parts of further south, Southern America. High pressure ridge crashing with atmospheric river of moisture throughout parts of Bolivia and Paraguay. Heavy snows continue throughout Argentina. They've already received almost 20 feet of snow in the past two weeks. Pretty vigorous low pressure system here affecting Antarctica as well. Watch for an uptick in seismicity throughout the South Sandwich Islands. That volcanic region, large subduction zone here in the Southern Hemisphere. It's where the Michael Volcano is. Overlooking Europe, large low pressure center affecting United Kingdom and into Ireland. Expect some very strong winds through Ireland and northern parts of the United Kingdom. But this system will be affecting you for the next three days and then watch for another small system to come in later in the week. As well across the Mediterranean and into India. Watching some extreme weather and storms throughout, especially hit hard here in India as there is a tropical system pretty much that has ran straight, that is projected to run straight across the Indian the country of India. Look at that. That is a huge system and for it to be spinning around for five days there in the area, watch for devastating floods and storms. No tropical systems to talk about except for heat coast, high coast, it's diminishing. Southeastern Australia, you get your last big storm of the season affecting you guys in this five day forecast. And that will bring some snow to higher elevations. And as well, some pretty cool temperatures right up the coastline up into New South Wales. Could be some record breakers there. Overlooking Africa, seasonable temperatures. Watch for this large system to possibly form a beast of a hurricane off the coast later in the week. I'll leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern hemisphere. Observe the very large and organized low pressure systems that just keep spinning in the same area across the southern hemisphere. Watch for that to occur in the northern hemisphere for this winter. That's what always happens. What happens in the south will then happen in the north and vice versa. Low pressure systems reaching the North Pole. We already have record amounts of extended Greenland ice. Go figure. Thanks for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye.